and we can have some more of that today. And, and mind you, that was a very isolated storm. It was like basically just Charlotte that drowned and everywhere else didn't really have too many of the storms. We're looking at some clouds right now live from the uh, uptown uh, Charlotte uh, area there. Just a couple of clouds and um, it is muggy out there to start this morning. We've got some dry conditions here on radar. Temperatures at 73 degrees right now in Charlotte and we've got a few showers up in Boone. But other than that, the rest of us are dry. We've got just some cloud cover and some benign showers up in Boone. Very muggy start. We have this front back to the west. That's what's keeping us stormy again today with some of those heat driven showers and storms. We'll have to watch again for that severe risk, but it does look like the uh, healthier chance for some stronger storms will lie to the east in the yellow there, basically for the eastern part of the Carolinas from Greenfield down towards Wilmington. Charlotte has that green marginal risk, meaning one or two of those storms could be on the strong side. And we could also have some of those isolated downpours as well, just like yesterday, low end flood risk. We'll have some of these storms pop later on this afternoon and into the evening, so you'll want to make sure you have that pinpoint weather app for the pop up showers and storms. Temperatures will be in the middle and upper 80s and getting pretty warm and humid. So you can see we'll have some of these showers and storms flourish as we go into the afternoon here. We'll keep things mostly dry this evening and then another batch of showers and storms could arrive going into tomorrow morning as that front finally passes. So what will happen is, is we'll have this front come through um, with a batch of storms today. It lingers to the west. We'll have some of these storms roll through going into tomorrow. And then it finally clears the area, giving way to some drier conditions going into the work week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, actually looking like we won't have any storm chances like we've had the last couple of days will dry out, but that will come with the increasing temperatures. So high pressure will roll in, which is what will kind of kill the storm chances, but it is going to crank that heat. We are looking at temperatures getting into the middle 90s, maybe even some upper 90s by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That will also put the heat index value at 100 or hotter a lot of those days too. So it's a trade off, right? We lose the storm chances, but that heat gets more extreme. A few storms possible today. Temperatures up in the middle and upper 80s. It is muggy on the overnight. We'll keep scattered showers and storms. Temperatures in the middle 80s on Monday as that front works on coming through. Finally dry with some seasonal heat Tuesday, even a little bit of Wednesday, but temperatures do start to crank by the end of the week. Highs in the middle 90s getting hot and humid by the end of the week.